This is Cleveland Cassius for Eiffel TV in association with Matkins Jim Bayer. With me, I've got new WBO Light Middle Weight Champion, Liam Smith. Of the world. Of the world. Yeah, that's okay. Oh, come on, a bit. But right this minute, how are you feeling, Liam? I can't, I can't describe you, and I'm not just saying that, like, you know, whatever everyone say, but I just I, I, I can't say it. I don't really know what, what, what I'm feeling. I'm still, like, getting mobbed off everyone in here, you know, just hundreds of people in the changing rooms, and, you know, this show for them. No, I can't wait to just see, see see all the feedback off it now and then I'll probably, I'll probably get home tomorrow. Just obviously looking at your, your game plan going into this fight, it looked like from very early on that you sort of have, uh, had an inkling that you wanted to take him out there um, and as the rounds were going on you felt like that, that was going to be the case in the fight. Yeah, but, you know, I, I can't keep going and doing what I, not keep going because I don't do it any other time but I can't do what I've done today all the time, just go out and, you know, I lost the first two rounds, it's probably Probably the first rounds I've lost for a while, but I was just, I don't know really, but you know, I was getting, I wanted to feel his power, get his rhythm. It was quite awkward early on anyway, he was good on his legs, making me fall short, when I was jabbing the body, he was catching me with jabs, so where I started slow, you know, he started quick, and I say, the more, the, the, where I kept pressure on him, I was comfortable doing it. I said to Joe, it's round three, it's my fight now, my tight fight now. I knew, I knew it was my type fight, so um, you know, as much as I lost the first two, I knew, I knew it was going to be. Um, Joe, Joe moaned at me, not moaned at me, but he said, you know, you're two down now, come on, start. And I was quietly confident that I'd break him down. When not that, not that, you know, I'm going to give the rounds away, thinking I'm going to do that all the time, but, you know, after round three, I just felt him slacking, and I could have done 15 rounds like that, dude, and that was just my type fight. When he did catch you, was he hurting you at all? No, 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 he weren't, Coogan. He, a couple were catching me on the floor, and I, I was comfortable with his power. Joe asked me a question in the corner, and I said, no, I'm comfortable with it. And, um, you know, but that, 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 I feel solid enough now. I like middle Coogan, I feel. I, that, that, I don't mean that by I'm going to take shots of every like middle, because I know at any given time anyone can be took out and one punch can change a fight, but, you know, I'm confident. I'm confident to stay in the pocket. Is that the kind of fight you were expecting, Liam, or not? To a point, yeah. I said it might be awkward early on, and then, you know, I get to him late. I said that to, to, to a few people, and, um, you know, I think, I think Joe, Joe sort of knew that. He said, you've got to be switched on early, you've got to be switched on early. And then, you know, I think, besides a couple of the jabs I got caught with, I think it basically went to plan. You know, the shots we to that, the straight jab, the body, the straight right hand, the body, rather than the right to the body, worked. But just early on, I was falling short with a couple of them. Talk to me about the finish in the seventh round. But I'm not being negative, Coogan, I'm world champion, so I'm not going to lie to the negative, now. <laughs> the new world champion. Talk to me about the seventh round, the finish. Uh, I can't remember it, Coogan. I just remember them, you know, I say I remember them fading, and I just remember just going for them. I remember at the end of round six, just screaming, because I just thought, you know, let's have it. It's, I was just going to go right back at him, and as you look at the round, Joe said to me, go, we, we, we worked on. That shot that started the round just come out and shot him at a one-two, and I don't know. I think it started around seven, and it landed us, and then that just started that round fast again. You know, I had a good round six, and then some fights come out, and it's got to take you a minute to get going again to get, you know, to get them kind of going again. But I come out on the first right hand, the two landed, so that just set that round up again to start fast. You become the first Smith brother to win a world title, so, so a little bit of bragging rights in the Smith household for you. Yeah, a little bit, but. No, then, 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 uh, They're hot on your heels as well. Yeah, this you know, I, I won't be the last Coogan, I promise you, it won't be the last day. Uh, you know, I've got Stephen who's fighting for his next, and then Callum who's going to fight for this just after, just after he beats Rocky. So, you know, we, we, we'll get more in the family. It's just, I'm buzzing on first because I watched you know, Paul win a bit of title first, and I watched Stephen win a Commonwealth title first. So, they got the success of that before I won them. So, now I've won a world title before them. I spoke to you obviously uh, a few days ago about potential fights it's, and it's hard to answer some questions before you actually had the fight with John Thompson but now you have beaten him, you are world champion, there is endless possibilities. So, yeah. Like I said, could you not be a liar if I said I never looked, I never thought about that, I never looked past Thompson but, I, but be a liar if I never thought about that because, you know, I said, I just mentioned Shane Moe because it was only a couple of weeks back just before he lost the title to Charlo, I seen him calling Bundage out, I thought he was going to fight at 147 so... You know, I've got a world title. What's to say you're not going to start calling me out? And you know, everyone um, is going to start. You know, anyone wants a world title has got to, got to chase me now, really. You know, if anyone wants this one, and, you know, instead of getting chased by the likes of, you know, Jimmy Kelly and Cochran and stuff, they can chase what I've, what I've left now, and I'm not going to be chased by Shane Oldham or someone else. Would you be happy to travel to defend your belt? I'd love to go to America. Yeah, so I've won, 
you know, one, one goal now I'm world champion. The next goal is to go to America and win a world title. So you know, that, that, that's what I'd love. I'd love to go back home and defend it. But you know, like I said before, I'd, I'd love to defend it anyway. I'm defending a world title. If I'm not happy doing that, I, you know, I shouldn't be boxing. Will you fight again this year? I hope so, yeah. I hope so. December? December. Frank said I can fight December if I want to fight December. So you know, I've got no injuries at all. And you know, I'm going out on the air with him tonight. So it depends when he gets me in. <laughs> so, if you fight December, are you, are you fighting on Lee Saunders' undercard or are they fighting on your undercard? Oh, I don't know. I said for this bill, you know, I'd be privileged to fight on the same bill as Dentro. I think that's a great fight and I'm looking forward to watching that. So, you know, I, I can't wait. I hope I am on that bill, to be honest with you, because it's a great bill to be on. All right, well, listen, Liam, congratulations. Um, great moment. Like I said, your whole team, your whole family was here and been waiting for this your whole family so well done and I say I never thanked anyone in any interviews just like thank everyone who sponsored me I, I thank them personally because they're here um, you know uh, I'd like to thank Daniel and Team MGM for managing me and Frank for getting me the shot you know them two working together and then you know most of all I, I'd like to thank everyone at the Leeds Sunday for you know teaching me the basics George and Danny Vaughan for starting me off in the pros and then you know, most of all Joe's turned into a world champion, so. Well, yeah, no, this is this is for all my family anyway. This is this is going right home in my mum's house, mum and dad's. All right, well, listen, is he going? The chef, the chef. Yeah. I got him in shape. <laughs> all right, well, listen, congratulations, Thanks, and I'll let you crack on with the rest of your night anyway. So, all right, well done, mate. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.